started here, we just want to welcome those of you who have been brave enough to come out. Hello, it's good to see you. And we also want to welcome those that are online with us. Uh, a number of people said they'd be joining us online, and so we say hi to you. Um, you know, uh, t today uh, has been declared a National Day of Prayer. And uh, so we actually uh, want to start out today with just just that, just just a time of prayer, then we're going to have a time of worship, and then today we're also going to be doing some declarations kind of against fear. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and ask Tracy to come up uh, right off the bat, and uh, uh, we're going to start this thing. Yeah, just grab the mic and come on up, and we're going to start just um, with a time of prayer, because people from all over the, the country right now are praying with us, along with us, as we just proclaim his goodness in our nation and his goodness over all that's going on. And so that's where, where we're starting today. So would you start us off? I'm just going to invite the Holy Spirit to come right now. Yes. Holy Spirit, come. Yes. Father, we thank you. Yes. Lord, we thank you that you're so strong and so good, Father, and so big. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your protection. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for your love. And Lord, I just pray right now, Lord, over all this mm -hmm. fear that's just, that's being pushed out and, mm -hmm. and, and, and brought on us, Lord, through the enemy, Lord, that I just pray against that right yes. now, Father, through your love yes. and your power, Father, in your name, Lord, as you speak the truth, Father, to mm -hmm. us of who we are in you, Lord, our, mm -hmm. our identity in you, Father, is where we stand. Yes. Father, we thank you so much for that, Lord. And I just pray right now, Lord, over this whole nation, Father, yes. that you are just able to reach out, Lord, and to touch these people, Father, and to show them yes. how much love you are, Father, and that there is no reason, no reason to panic, Father. There is no reason for all this fear, Lord. Yes. I just push back that right now in yes, your name, push Father. push back fear, yeah. I just push that back right now, Lord, and I just ask you to come strong, Father, and, and just rejuvenate mm -hmm. this country, Father. Yes. Rejuvenate the, the, the government's, Father. Government. Rejuvenate the, your followers, Lord. As we are yes. Christians, Father, we come to you in strength, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, you did not give us a spirit of fear. You gave us a spirit of boldness, Lord, a mm -hmm. spirit of, of who we are in you. And I thank you so much for that, Lord. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I just ask you to, to, to continue to eradicate this disease, Father. Mm -hmm. I ask you to continue to work through everything in your means, Lord, for I know that mm -hmm. you will bring goodness out of this, Father. You yes. will be triumphant over this whole mess. Yes. And we thank you for that. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Lord, in Jesus' name. Hey, so I just had an idea. You can turn that off for a second. I just had an idea, um, a, a little word picture or a word thing I wanted to show you. Um, you can sit, you can stand, whatever you want to do as you're coming. Oh, stay here, though. Um, so, so, you know, we've been walking along. Uh, here, Matt's going to be my other buddy. Uh, uh, let me just, oh, yeah, Don't disconnect. Yeah, maybe. So Matt and I, you know, I've been walking along, and I've been doing really good in standing in my faith. And this is my buddy Faith, right here. Faith, faith is happening. I got faith. I got faith. I'm doing the thing in faith. I'm walking in faith. I'm going to church. I'm saying my things. And then, and then this, this other little buddy comes over, and uh, this guy is fear. And, you know... I am, I, I, I just, he sounds good, and there's some truth to what he's saying, and he's got some facts and everything, and so I have just yoked with fear, and you know, fear starts to pull me away from, from faith. He's pulling me away, and there's just a point where I have to say, uh-uh, I am, I, I, you know what, goodbye. Goodbye, fear. Would you go, 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 just go, fear. I have to tell fear to go, and I have to yoke again with faith in Jesus, and this is where I'm gonna stand, right? This is where we're gonna stand, is in faith, and this is where we need to stand during this time. So I think uh, we're gonna choose love, and we're gonna choose faith over fear. We're gonna choose prayer over panic, right? In Jesus' name, this is just what we're doing, and this is what we're called to do. So, so what I wanna start with, I, I, I think we'll start with these declarations because these declarations are God's word about over, not having a, a, a mindset of fear and overcoming anxiety. And so we're going to put these on the screens and we're going to join us as we read these, uh, whether you're in the audience or whether you're on the screen, we're just going to read these scriptures and then pray these prayers so that we can say goodbye to fear 
and stay yoked with faith, right? So join me as we say these. For God will not give you a spirit of fear, but the Holy Spirit gives you mighty power, love, and self-control. And here's the prayer. God, thank you that I have your spirit that gives me mighty power, love, and the ability to be self-controlled. Thank you that I do not have a spirit of fear, and I pray that any spirits of fear or panic will be far from me. The next one, the scripture. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And the prayer, I come before you, Lord, totally undone. My load is too heavy for me when I process the coronavirus, and I need you. I choose to take your yoke of peace about this sickness and wisdom upon my shoulders about how to live my life during this season and embrace rest for my soul. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And the prayer for this one, I declare and decree that I will not be anxious about the coronavirus. I refuse to carry the weight of fear and anxiety and agree with the lies of the enemy, misfortune, or human panic. I choose to stand on the word of God and walk in supernatural faith in regard to this virus outbreak. The peace of God stands guard over my mind and heart and my body, and he will keep me safe. And the last scripture, for though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And the prayer, I know I walk in the flesh, where a virus may threaten me, but I do not war in the flesh. My weapons are mighty through God, and I have the resurrected Jesus Christ within me. I have the power to pull down strongholds over my, my family, and I choose to cast down every imagination about this virus that torments my mind. I command every thought about it to line up with the word of God and become obedient to Christ. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you prayed that, if you prayed that, like this is the word that we stand on. You know, we're a community and a people of hope. As followers of Jesus, we're a people of hope. And for centuries, the people of Jesus have, have ris really risen in times like this. We've risen to respond to trials. We've risen to respond to plagues, persecution, upheaval, and national and international unrest. That's just who we are as followers of Jesus, and that is where we will, we will stand. We will do the same. We will do the same as those that have gone before us that have stood in times of trial. That's just what we do and that's who we are. You know, our desire uh, here is just to discover what God is doing through this time and to put our hand to it, to minister to the ones that need ministered to. There was a great, there's a great quote by Charles Spurgeon, actually. I wanna read you, and then we're gonna go into a time of worship. This is what Charles Spurgeon says. When many were afraid to enter their houses lest they should catch the deadly disease, we who had no fear about such things found ourselves most gladly listened to when we spoke of Christ and of things divine. I mean, people are going to see just the non-anxious presence that we're bringing and the foundation and the way that we're yoking to our faith. People are watching and people will see that. And so that's where we stand. As we stand today with this national, with, with our country and, and pray and go through this time of service and lift up God's name, that's where we stand.